Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the possible release schedule for the six hidden vehicles found within the files of the Cunning Stunts DLC. Again, we're going to be talking about when I believe these are going to be releasing based off of some information that has been found, as well as taking a look at what the vehicles are on the in-game websites, their vehicle stats, and a whole lot more. It's going to be a pretty awesome video, so we shouldn't waste any more time, and let's jump straight into it. It. So before we can start talking about a possible release, we need to start talking about how many vehicles there are and why we know this. So there's five hidden vehicles that can be found within the files. You have the Drift Tampa, the Ocelot Lynx, you have the Contender, you've got the Western Cliffhanger, and then you've got the Rally Truck, which is the Pegasus vehicle. So those are five that have been found within the files. We also know that the Sprunk Buffalo is going to be a vehicle returning. Rockstar has kept this hidden from the initial release. You guys know that they added the uh, Burger Shot Stallion, the Pizvazer Dominator, and the Redwood Gauntlet, leaving the Sprunk Buffalo S as the only stock car missing from the single player campaign. However, that has actually been found that Rockstar have uploaded preview photos to the multiplayer servers of Grand Theft Auto Online, confirming that that is going to be a vehicle that will be released. So if we do five plus one, that obviously gives us six vehicles. So now that you know how many total vehicles there are, we now need to look at what Rockstar has told us. So they've stated over the next three weeks, look for more stunt races and vehicles to be added to Grand Theft Auto Online as part of the cunning stunts accumulating in the release of the stunt creator on August 2nd. So now let's take a look at a calendar. If Rockstar were to do their traditional vehicle tunable releases, that would mean that we would likely see vehicles on the 19th, the 26th, and the 2nd based off of the patterns that Rockstar have done in the past, considering our update came out on the 12th. So by that logic, you would think Rockstar would release two vehicles per week. They would go two, two, and two, and then on that last week, you'd have the addition of the stunt creator added into Grand Theft Auto Online. That was my initial theory because they've never had this many hidden vehicles locked away. Typically, it's only one or two, or in the most cases, three, like we saw more recently with the Finance and Felony DLC. However, some very interesting information has come out from Yan2295. He posted this on the GTA forum site. I'll read it off to you guys right now. He states, so there's no mentions of the unreleased cars in the tunables. There's no mentions of the stunt races creator in the tunables. The stunt races creator is still a WIP right now. That leads me to believe that we will have an actual update on August 2nd and not just a tunable update as I first predicted. But that would also mean that we won't get any of the new cars before August 2nd. He states if they're not in the tunables, how else would it work? He goes on to say, I'm not an expert in these kind of things. They could have a new way of doing things, but from the way I see it, that's what makes the most sense to me. Okay, so let's break that down. Essentially, what Yan is saying is the hidden cars that we found, that being like the Drift Tampa, the Ocelot Lynx, are not found in the tunable files where they traditionally are. He also states that the stun race creator is not in the tunables either. So what that would indicate is that on August 2nd, that means Rockstar is going to have to add a downloadable update into the game. So when we received the 770 and the X80, and the 811, that was all done via tunable. You didn't have to get a new update. But on August 2nd, it's looking more and more likely that we will have to receive a new update. And because these cars are not within the tunable files, that means that Rockstar can't just like flip on a switch and have them released. It would require a new update for them to actually be added into the game. So if that's the case, and if this update requires a downloadable DLC in order to get the cars, how are we going to be going about getting these vehicles? Maybe Rockstar will decide to add the vehicles after the stunt race creator is added into the game. So maybe they'll do tunable cars once the August 2nd is released. So maybe they'll be saving the Drift Tampa for a little bit later on in the Ocelot Lynx and the Contender. That I'm not exactly sure. Some people are stating that it would be more logical to add these hidden vehicles once the stunt race creator update is available into the game. But there's also an interesting bit of information coming from another user on the GTA forum site, Nomus24. He states that on the French 
French version of the Newswire, it clearly says that in the next three weeks, they will release new cars and new stunt races until the release of the creator. And when I saw that, I was like, okay, that's kind of interesting and that could make sense. But also August 2nd does fall under that three week category. So three weeks from the initial release of the Cunning Stunts DLC is August 2nd. So again, I'm not sure how it would be possible to release any of this content since they're not in the tunable files. But if that is the case, it'll be very interesting to see how long Rockstar hold out on these brand new vehicles because to an extent, I'm slightly upset because both the Sprunk Buffalo S and the Drift Tampa can be seen in promotional screenshots for this update. Yet the update has come out and we don't obviously have those in the game. I know people are especially upset about the Drift Tampa, which is one of the coolest vehicles in the game. You guys saw me actually customize that on my live stream a little bit earlier in the week. We had a blast doing that. And if you want to check out any of the new vehicles and are just totally confused on what I'm talking about, I'll leave that link in the description so you can check it out for yourself as well. Well, so with all the way, let's take a little bit of a better look at some of the new vehicles that are going to be coming, including their stats and whatnot. These images were provided to me by Phonos Gaming. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. You should check him out. So we know that the Lynx is going to be available on the Legendary Motorsports site, which is kind of cool. The only thing we don't know from this is the price, and that's because price is done on the server side, not on the client side. So that's incredibly difficult to find out before the DLC releases. So you can see on the one hand, it's a pinnacle of British car design, conservative, luxuriant, anally retentive. On the other hand, it's brash, liveried, track ready, impossible. Put your hands together and meet the Ocelot Lynx, like getting mugged by someone in a top hat. It's an experience you'll never forget. So you can see those are the vehicle stats right there. Uh, top speed is just over four bars, like four and one fifth. Acceleration right under four bars, braking about one and three fourths, and then traction right under four as well, like three and eight tenths. So that is the Ocelot Lynx right there. Those are the stats that you can see for that vehicle. Up next, we've got the Drift Tampa, which is available on the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site. The Drift Tampa is you brush the accelerator and it happens, your eardrums shatter, your bowels surrender, a thousand angry horses stampede through all four titanium reinforced wheels. The tires melt in a cloud of acerid smog, but all you know is you're going somewhere really, really fast. So that's the Drift Tampa. You can see its stats right there. Top speed looks to be like right at four bars or just a little bit over. Acceleration is just a little bit over four, like four and one tenth. Braking obviously doesn't have the best braking stats, about three three-fourths of one bar, and then traction about three and one-third bars. So that's the Drift Tampa. Let's move on to the Rally Truck, which is also available on the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site. Now, the biggest thing about this is it says, please note this is a Pegasus vehicle and can not be stored in your personal garage. So that's actually cool that Rockstar lets you know before you purchase these vehicles that it's a Pegasus one. Uh, so those are its stats right there. You've got top speed, uh, about three and one-third bars. Acceleration, just over four. Braking is about one and then traction you've got about three and a half right there so that's pretty cool that is the rally truck again one of the brand new vehicles coming within this update up next we've got the western cliffhanger so the cliffhanger also available on the southern san andreas super auto site you can see its description right there its stats top speed is just about four full bars exact same thing with acceleration i think they might be identical braking just under two and traction is about three and a half i really do love this motorcycle i think the stunt livery is awesome the ltd gas one looks really really great as well so that is the western cliffhanger right there so that's super cool and finally last but not least on the southern san andreas super auto site as well we get the contender so the contender is pretty epic although i'm slightly disappointed in its customization options because i think there's a lot of potential there it's still pretty cool so uh the speed stats for it is about three and three fourths the acceleration is just over three braking is about one bar and then traction just over three bars as well so those are all the vehicles on their in-game sites. Those are their statistics as well. I'm not sure if the statistics really pan out to mean anything that significant, but at least we know what websites they're going to be available on to purchase. Only one of them is going to be on the Legendary Motorsports site. The other ones are going to be available on the Southern San Andreas Super Autos. And that also leads us to our final one, which is the Buffalo.
Buffalo S. That's right. The Sprunk Buffalo S from single player is going to be making a return to online. So it's pretty cool. You can see the top speed right there, nearly four full bars, acceleration just slightly under four, braking about one and three fourths, and then traction is about three and three fourths as well. So that's the Bravado Sprunk Buffalo. It's going to be coming into Grand Theft Auto Online, which is extremely exciting. That is the buying page on the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site. So I know we've talked about a lot of information today, but it's just really, really crazy. And honestly, I don't know what to expect from Rockstar because typically when updates like this come out, we expect them to do the hidden tunable cars right after. But if many reputable members of the community like Yan are saying that it's not in the tunables, then it just doesn't seem like it's physically possible for it to release that way so that is going to be incredibly interesting to find out i guess all of our answers will be come out on tuesday when either something releases or something doesn't release but let me know what you think in the comment section down below how do you want these six hidden vehicles to be released in grand theft auto online let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you did go on to enjoy the video a like rating would of course be awesome and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new or like daily gta 5 videos like this without the way guys like i said thanks for watching Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.